Hi guys, James from Measure Square here. Welcome to the Sports Floor Design Tutorial in the Measure Square 8 Special Topics Series. In this video, we will cover designing a basketball court from start to finish, including importing and rotating a plan, product creation, weld rod add-on, drawing curve dividers, product application, and staggering cuts for large rooms. To begin, we will go to the top left of our takeoff tab and click the import button. We'll select our file by left clicking and then click open. We should see our preview pop up allowing us to check which pages we want to bring in. Note that if the image size field on the right for a page is in red, we can use the image size drop down in the top left to lower the number to allow higher resolution files to be brought into Measure Square 8. Once we are in our preview window, we can zoom in and out using our scroll wheel. To set scale, we can select the scale from the drop down menu on the top right, or we can also use the scale button to manually select a dimension to reference, where we left click on each side of a dimension and then type in a verified dimension to scale the page accordingly. Once scaled, we can select Import to Current tab to bring in one or more pages into our takeoff in Measure Square 8. We'll find our flooring legend for our project items and begin our project item creation now. First, click New Product. Enter in the product name and product type. In the Estimating Info view, we can also enter the details for our sports floor, such as display color, roll width, roll length, and pricing info. Once the necessary details are entered, click Save. We can save time by clicking the Duplicate button in the top left to copy this product, allowing us to just change the name, display color, and other info on our next sports floor product. Click Save. Let's make the rest of our sports flooring items using the same procedure. Click the new product button to begin making the LVT for the accent lines on the court. Choose the product type as vinyl tile. Enter in the estimating info for the product and click save. Next we will make our weld rods for our sports flooring. Click the new product button. Enter in the weld rod name with the corresponding number for the sports floor, WR1 in this case. Then choose the type as linear. Choose a matching display color. Click the Is add-on checkbox so we can associate this weld rod to our sports floor by seam length. Then click Save. The add-on mechanism in Measure Square 8 allows us to auto-calculate a product when we apply our flooring good. To begin, left-click on SF1. Click the green plus in the bottom right to add the matching weld rod. Select WR1 from the drop-down and choose the add-on method as seam length. Click Save. Notice that WR1 is now showing in the bottom of our sports floor estimating info. Please note, we need to click save in the bottom right of our SF1 product so the add-on takes effect. See the plus on the left side of SF1 indicating the add-on attached to it. Let's make the rest of our weld rods and associate them to their sports flooring using the same approach. To rotate our plan to make room takeoff easier, let's left click on the rotate button located in the top right of our banner. Left click on one side of our building's wall and then drag a reference line across to the other corner and left click. We can then rotate our plan until it snaps to the horizontal alignment position. Now all of our corners will be at 90 degrees making it easier to trace with the free draw tool. To begin drawing our room, go up to the top left and select the draw button. Then zoom in on the room and begin tracing out the shape by left clicking at each interior corner to trace the room like so. Once the room is traced we can select the divider tool and begin outlining our basketball court. Left click to start the divider and then left click to build each segment of the large rectangular shape like so. Note, 
You can push in and hold the scroll wheel on your mouse to move around the page while staying zoomed in on a room to speed up the process. When we get to the last segment of the rectangle, we can right click to close out our shape. Next, we will use the same operation to trace the inner rectangle using the divider tool, like so. Let's continue using the divider for the next rectangular shape for our court. Next, let's draw the area to the right using the same approach. Note that when it comes time to draw our arc, we will just press the letter R key on our keyboard once to change our cursor to the arc cursor. Then we can left click on one point on our arc, left click again at the end point of our arc, and then go back to our regular straight line divider mode where we can continue finishing this section. Using a combination of curved and straight dividers, we will finish drawing in all of our divider details for the basketball court. Once our dividers are drawn, we can left-click our first flooring product, hold down our left mouse button, and drag it over to the appropriate region. We will apply the rest of our products using the same drag-and-drop approach. Note, it's always a good idea to double check your work here with the detailed dividers so we don't miss a section like this one here. To change the layout direction of our products, left click on the product in the room and then click on the appropriate green arrow in the estimating toolbar like so. For large areas of flooring, it is sometimes best practice to stagger our cuts, like in this area off the court. To do this, right click select Layout and Seam, and then select the Stagger Cuts option. This completes the takeoff portion of our basketball court. To finish up the project by generating a bid packet, please see the Report Printout tutorial in the Getting Started series. The link will be in the bio below.